Hello, Peggy. Eighteen. We're trying something new. Why is this a free infiltration gameplay demo? Is there a charging? paid version? Hello, everyone. Do we turn the TV back on? Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. We're yeah. 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 All right, so this is, this is uh, so correct me if I'm wrong, this is the same thing that I showed us at E3, but from different perspectives or different... It's, it's four different interpretations of the same mission. Cool. Four? Yeah, they show off four different ways to do it. It's 30 minutes long. Get and it's not repetitive Nick. at all. Huh? And it's not repetitive at all. You... you so Nick seems not just down on Metal Gear. He seems to be like he's like buddy. He's, he's like the fear. What, what's up with you? I'm not. You, you you don't want to play this game? No, of course I want to play this game. Is it, is it all the you Konami? Seem, burn? You seem. What are your reservations? It's Konami. Wait. No, really. Infiltration example. What are your reservations? I don't based have any reservations. I'm just not with quiet. I'm just not on board the. I want to know. Yet. What you see a trailer for the order and you get excited, you see a trailer for this game and you're like whatever. And I want to know how your mind works. <laughs> well, the order looked original. Oh. What? You say what the fuck? <laughs> this Metal Gear game doesn't look original to I'm you. I'm trolling the shit out You've of you. You've done it now, man. Hey, look, he's on a helicopter. He's looking at a map. Imagine that. Oh yeah, that 1980s hologram technology. God, I just, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, which, I just, I'm the, I'm literally the reason this video just got like a thousand watch, thumbs down. Watch quiet in the background. Watch her. Yep. Uh, she, uh, thanks, Chris we're just Davis. Looking at a map. You cannot. She, yeah, Chris Davis she, broke. You need to keep quiet, okay? Chris I'm just. I don't want I'm you going. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's the cool thing. It's about to happen. Then I'll you shut the fuck up. I'm just pointing this out. <laughs> I bet Chris Davis. Wait for it. Love to keep quiet. It's a little bit more difficult. Chris, you just Whoa, said wait for it. You just said I'm not going to do it, and then you said wait for it. That's the only thing I'm going to say. Wait for it. Okay. I. What is she doing? Can we get a count on the top of the screen for the number of times? Why is she doing the like? High school girl. Because Hideo Kojima. It's, it's, it's Kojima. It's what he does. All right. What you do? Oh my god, what's with the boot physics? Yeah, boot physics. Oh Dude, Holy the boot physics are out of control in this game. Action moment. figure mode. What is this? And as our secondary weapon, we'll use a yeah, tranquilizer for some physics. Quiet, we'll equip her with a. What did Kojima <laughs> say about quiet? He said, we're, we're, we're going to feel stupid. We're all going to feel stupid for <laughs> judging her outfit, right? Yeah. Well, we'll because <laughs> she's apparently going to be some crazy deep character, right? Well, but oh, yeah, but then her time. boobs jiggle, and then they release a figurine. And then they made the, the squishy boobs quiet action figure. <laughs> You're going to feel bad. Those are cancerous tumors that make her boobs move like that. Oh, my God. A hero's way. I'm just God. saying, like, 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 what what is he talking about? He sounds like he's full of shit. Punished Venoms. What is in his head? It's a shrapnel. It's the shrapnel from the, the explosion at the end of Ground Zero. Yeah, it's like, the wait, crash. they didn't remove it? Well, they, no, probably they could. probably could. They can't. I'm sorry, but like, gonna it looks kind is, is it going to be in his head the entire game? It's probably, I hope his so. His body's probably going to be pushing it out, which it gets, is, makes him look like he has horns. I hope yeah. he collects more shrapnel. Time. I can't believe he's a, you're playing this whole game with a huge piece of metal stuck in your fucking head. Yeah, well, I mean, I've seen that like, a million times before. It's it not kinda very looks original. Like a, it kind of looks like a demon horn or something. It's cool. Yeah. I know you're trying to appeal to my... my no, no, that that is the imagery <laughs> the they're going that I love for. I'm, Nick, that is the imagery that's they're going that's, for. That's probably is what that, it is. Is that not metal enough for you? That is... <laughs> that is pretty metal. That's almost too metal. I, think, I don't... I think you and Kojima have a lot in common. Don't Scout out the area. So I know we're kind of talking Wait, over scouting. the top. Whoa! So okay. he's, he's sending Quiet out to scout a location. Wait, okay, I'm sorry. What is... What is... Why is she Since magic? Since when are there superpowers? Why in is Metal she Gear? magic? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I know these because Metal Gear games. I've seen <laughs> Metal Gear. Whoa, 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 video whoa. Games. They really sped shit up in this. Yeah. <laughs> well, because he's just a big open world and he's running. How often are they gonna fucking speed it up like that? It's like, and then you do this. And sh well, they're trying to make these do four okay, different so sessions in the, a thirty-minute video. Yeah. Diamond Dog logo is quiet. I assume. Mm -hmm. Yep. And she's wrecking shit up, or getting... So she's, she's scouting out the out enemy and pointing out where they are. Position. Uh, Which is what the robot dude and the dog can do as well. Mm -hmm. Why is she... You can also see here that Quiet has prepared some supplies I'm for sure us. they're gonna explain oh, that. She, she in fact, supplies. I'm sure they're gonna explain that way more than they need to. Well, they're, they're explaining. You, you ask this question, yet there's so many characters like the frickin' Sorrow, or yeah. Vamp, or... Yeah. Insert enemy here. No, I know, those, it's all kinds those of... weren't magic, those were yeah. nanomachines. Remember Wesker? <laughs> Wait, so the Sorrow was nano machines too? It's all the same was? shit. Wait, which which one? The Sorrow Dude, was I'm like convinced. Oh, the Sorrow? I'm wasn't convinced it? that everything in this wasn't universe is explained away with nano machines. Well, well, that that was the problem with Metal Gear Solid 4. That's what they attempted to do. But but hey, 
Nick, you need to remember Metal Gear is weird. It's weird as shit, and it's always been weird. Right, no, I would say the same for Resident Evil, but you denied that. So I will say play. it's always been that way for Metal Gear. I'll mind. agree with you on Metal Gear. I will not necessarily agree with you on Resident Evil. With that Resident Evil but I think we're going to have to agree to disagree. Always been weird. These people didn't pay good money to come watch us Talk about debate Resident this. <laughs> They oh, came yeah. for this free E3 How? Metal Gear demo. Sleepy time. So he synced up his shots with uh, Quiet. Quiet. Which we've yeah. seen that before. I mean, we've seen the Quiet video. Which before. is cool. It is oh. cool. <laughs> so there are some people time that are... That, that, okay, maybe that's the reason I'm having trouble getting hyped. I feel like every two seconds of this game, he's stopping to fucking... Have you played Peace Walker? Walker? You, don't every two. you do that a lot in Peace Walker. You don't have to, why but why is every demo you there, do it? There, there's two reasons to do it. Number one, you'll get stats like for enemies specials. back at base that you can assign projects on. They help Peace you out. Oh, no, I, I, number you two... Have, you don't have to explain it to me. The, what, my, what, the, what I'm taking issue with is that ever since they first showed this game, they, they're like, and check this out, you can fault in this thing, and you're like, oh, that's cool, and they never stopped. Yeah. They why, ne why would you stop? Why would you stop faulting it? You do fault in a lot in Peace Walker. Why isn't that his only weapon? That's all you do in Peace I'm sorry, Walker. I'm ruining this video. No, 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 Nick is not the first person who who I've heard make uh, uh, have that concern. It loses its impact, so, you can do it every fucking time. Well, so you right only here, have 10. Metal Gear Did y'all hear Joseph's famous spiel about the jeeps and the sheeps, too? That's confusing the as fuck. The sheeps. It sounds like a children's book. You should know what I'm talking about, because you were, you were on the podcast. Right? That was probably some time ago. Um, but that was cool. With the uh, the sleep grenade? Yeah, he threw the sleep grenade. She shot it. That was demonstrated in a previous yeah. demo. Oh, that's what's happening now. Like, shot it, landed right next to the guys, knocked him out. So, so the faulting all plays into the meta game, just like it did in Peace Walker. Look, he faulted all four of those dudes. Yeah, but there's also the number two. Yeah. The reason I was going to bring up so is, is that now. it gets rid of the no, body. So, okay, if patrolling. But so, is this whole game going to be faulting to get rid of bodies, or yes. is there going to be any? Like. Is there going to be any strategy to trying to hide the bodies? Like it's. Well, okay, let me explain. Uh, first of all, there's going to be areas where you can't fault. Them. Well, yeah, if you, you go in fault, then you're going to be spotted. Yeah, you also, like right here. Second. Oh, you missed! This guy has a Wait for it. He has a helmet. Uh, oh, I said it. Put it on the helmet. counter. <laughs> That's two. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> um, no, the thing is, I kind of agree with you, Nick. I don't know. Of I mean, course you do, because I'm right. Well, it's it's well, not going to it's it's going to matter in like the the early game I think because there's a whole economy in here and you have to spend cash in order to actually fold some people. Don't get me wrong, it looks cool. I'm just hoping that like yeah. the whole game is boiled down to shooting dudes and folding them. What are you talking about? That would be the best game ever if all he had was the fold recovery system. Like well, like what if he just like. Case, entered a war zone on a tank or like in a, in a jeep with bal one of God, However, balloons all over it. Like, that'd be amazing. Um, and have now <laughs> Let's change our route and head to the landing zone. You need to speak into your mic. Mission area. He's doing fine. I, I am. This picks up a lot better than you think. You okay. also know that these mics don't have the the sound issue anymore, right? I'm sure that would have made sense. Yeah. See, right, so it he seems ran like in. Also, so in this, in this alternate route, he ran in, put a bunch of dudes to sleep, shot a dude, bolt into all of them, and then made a violent, loud getaway in a helicopter. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Just so making sure I'm understanding this this route number one. What so. Is, so y'all want to hear my concerns for this game? Yes. We have not seen much crazy story stuff. We've seen a lot of this kind of stuff. They've been yeah. kind of holding that back. Which I'm hoping, you know. I mean, I, I think part of that concern lies in the fact that Snake never says anything. And I, I know... The craziest there, there story thing that we've seen so far has been the, the original Phantom yeah. Pain trailer. Though, though if you think about it, the history of Metal Gear demonstrations... There's, it's always been freaking cinematic trailers. There's been very few gameplay demonstrations that have ever been made public. So, they're just showing off gameplay here, and that's their primary product, I think. But like I said, it's the correlation between the... I mean, it's it's the correlation I'm making 
between us not seeing hardly anything and then surgical s- knowing that snake doesn't talk that that's why i'm a little concerned well snake talks i mean he talked a few minutes ago no but how can they ma- how, 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 is, how is it even possible to make a metal gear game Dude. where snake doesn't talk well you know he mad talks max, like Fury a fucking road. madman in every other game Mad Max Fury Road. Mad Max hardly said a fucking word. He, probably, right. he had like three pages of lines. Sure, that's but he also had film. Furiosa to carry him through that movie. Oh, huh? well, we got quiet. <laughs> Here's She's the, quiet. Same thing. <laughs> the Here's, same thing, right? <laughs> it's a quiet person carrying another quiet At least quiet the dog person. talks. Wait, damn it. No, here's my other concern. That would be great. I want to see less. I love that. <laughs> like the dog had the most lines of any character <laughs> in, the, in the whole game. I want to see less like roaming the desert and more. I want to see some structures. I want to see him go into cool places. You're, you're talking about urban urban environments. I want uh, not, not urban environments, just indoors. I want to see some indoors. I want to see some variety of environments just in general. Well, they've shown two two different types of environments. They've shown the far. jungle. But Look at this shit. Yeah, I want to see That's sneaky at Juggernaut. All. Sometimes when games go very big open world, that <laughs> it's the cost is that there's not very like uh, uh, complex indoor like environments. Like a focused level. Yes. Like, it, a, like a focused indoor, like good level design indoor environment. And I want to see that because you always see that in none of your games. I don't want that to go away. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Well, no, I, just, I just realized something. I just had an epiphany. Yeah. Are they going to use that metal shard in his head to explain why he doesn't talk anymore? No way. No, I mean, dude, I don't know. That, but they're like, going to explain. I can see a chain of events happening here where they hired Kiefer Sutherland, Sutherland to do the voice. They couldn't afford him to do many lines. So like, let's, let's basically throw a piece of metal into his head and then make that reason why no. he can't talk much. The the metal in his head was probably part of the story beforehand, but I, I think as far as Kiefer not saying much, I do think that might have to have a lot a lot to do with the fact it's, that it is Kiefer Sutherland. And, and his price is too high? Yeah. Yep. But um which is a huge fucking bummer. But you know, Konami doesn't have Activision money. Okay. We've known about this for a long time. Sure, but like I was I was always supportive of the whole Kiefer Sutherland thing to be totally honest. But the fact that he's not going to talk much is kind of a bummer. Don't don't say you were supportive. See, your your more thumbs are going down. <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna go ahead and just ruin this video. Dave, just Dave, take draw down, down to the ground. ground. You didn't feel bad about David Hayter. And sure, you didn't I did. Feel bad about I think sure, Metal Gear Solid Four is the best employees. Metal Gear Solid game. And there are some yeah, people who think that Metal Gear Solid Four is not the best. But guys, oh, thumbs, guys, what if the reason Kiefer's not talking so much is because David Hayter's actually in there? All right, stop it, Chris Davis. He he's he's yelling hey, at people on Twitter funny. now. He's saying, "Shut up! Stop it! It's not true! Stop! Please, God!" It's like ruining yeah. his life. Yeah, yeah. Mark's <laughs> ruining his <laughs> David Hayter's <laughs> life. <laughs> so this is cool. I mean, so he just flew around and shot yeah, a bunch of dudes with the machine gun, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, it is cool. It's, it's not flexibility. Not now that that grenade selfie. he just dropped on the ground is a flare grenade. How do you know that, Chris? Because he watched I'm video. paying attention. No, because you've already okay. watched this video. Maybe a little call, man, little call B. But uh, I will say that it's it's to, yeah, it's like a on. separate marker for the helicopter to come back yeah. down with. Yeah, it's right. not a pre uh, select position, which is cool. Yeah. No, th- this is supposed to be. This looks like some Rainbow Six shit order. right here. This looks like Splinter Cell. Just a lot of guys. Man, Splinter Cell. This is the most yeah, unstealthy you know, Metal the, Gear the, game I've ever seen. I said with more guns, guys. Okay. Fuck. Maybe I just can, maybe because maybe it's Nightmare Goggle conviction. shit and it's third person and fucking guys. <laughs> you don't listen. Why are we all like on edge? We're supposed to be having a good time watching some Metal because Gear. Because we're all really nervous about Metal Gear. Because I said some Metal apparently Gear. horrible I'll things about this game. nervous about Metal Gear. Because, because you said I hope David Hayter dies. Nick, <laughs> Nick you said that Metal Gear Solid 5 is gonna suck. We're all still really pissed off at Konami. I'm very pissed at Konami. I don't even know if this is enough to. Never mind. I'm just gonna stop talking. Stun grenade to take him out. Yeah, stun grenade. I wonder if if the camera is facing into the room, if it'll stun the the screen more. So, his objective is to steal this guy, right? To kill oh, him kill him or, or oh, so you do gotta move because you can't Fulton indoors. Uh-huh. Yeah, but well, watch this. I bet you anything. <laughs> he throws he's him out the window wait, with a Fulton. He's on. gonna take him outside <laughs> and then Fulton him. Yeah. Just no. watch. Attempt to use the Fulton, but it wouldn't. Be ah, I could oh, attempt I to use the Fulton. He said I could attempt to use the Fulton. Uh, like, but he's gonna show better, more restraint. You know what I'm gonna that. try and do? I'm gonna try and play this game without Fultoning anything. Your base is gonna suffer. Mother, your mother base is gonna suck. I will, I will, I will Fulton the jeeps and I will Fulton the sheep. The thing, Nick, is you're you're gonna Fulton not be. 
because Fulton's fun. You're gonna fault him because you're gonna get into the meta game. <laughs> Sure, yeah, but like, I, this is this is a very Fulton rare scenario where I feel like that meta game may actually like hurt the game. Right, so game. This was an Nick, you're crazy. You're shocking. You are well, insane. Well, I mean, uh, like I said, I I somewhat understand where. I'm sorry. It's from. cool, but I don't want to be doing it every two <laughs> seconds. I don't want to. I don't want to stop and think. But should you I, don't should have I fault to. in that cactus? <laughs> I'm gonna fault in that cactus. Can you can fault we, in a cactus? Can we fault in a cactus? I, if there's a cactus in this game, I, I <laughs> it bet. It adds water to I your bet. base. Yeah. Let's, let's fault in a, a boulder. I bet. You probably could, right? Remote assassination. I just hope it ties into boss fights. Like you're fighting some giant right, tank, and point, like, we need more Fultons. And like the boss fight's all about Fult placing Fultons. What if you get Fultons in the boss? The, the, the boss that's tank. That's, it, you that's how you take it out. Or it's like it's like end of the stop. game is a Metal Gear fight, and you have to like Fulton a Metal Gear. <laughs> I have a. Uh, you know what? This is Metal Gear Solid we're talking about here. That is not out of the realm of possibility. Absolutely. Maybe not. he goes to hell because he's got a devil horn yeah. and he's got a fault in himself. He folds his way to heaven. Heroes way. God, I hope so. That'd be awesome. Uh, I mean, this yeah. this video is actually an experiment in how many thumbs down we can actually get on a video. This is actually quite near where we started off. Ground Zeroes is fun. I just want to see some indoors. We're shooting for the bottom. Is that a unicorn? Nope. Uh, no, that's D horse. <laughs> that's what it's called, D horse. Why is it called D horse? Tell me, I, I, I don't ask me for an explanation. It's just called D horse. Does the horse have like a ballistic face mask or something? Yeah, you're, you're, don't, you can't ask too many questions no, because... Sniper dog! See, that looks way cooler. He's got like a little cape and everything. He's literally gonna ride into battle on a white horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On a tactical horse. On a tactical <laughs> white horse. He's even got a, a windscreen over his eyes. Which is cool. Your target is yeah, at this point, this is the, the, the shards coming out more. Because you see it broke his skin in two different places. And who's this talking to him? Is this Kaz? Yeah, this is Miller. So when in the timeline is this supposed to take 1984. place? 1984. So, so the Gear last Metal Gear game somehow takes place before the events of 4? It's like during the Soviet invasion. Just like Metal Gear Solid 3 takes place. Yeah, but how is this supposed to serve as a conclusion to the Metal Gear Solid series? I don't if it takes place before. Conclusion. Because it's going to bridge the gap between Metal Gear Solid Three and Peace it's Walker not. and the original Metal Gear. Okay, on but then MSX. it's not a conclusion. It's, well, it's I a, mean, it's a bridge. Maybe. I mean, well, it concludes that part of the story that they started and didn't finish because they did conclude the Solid Snake storyline with Metal Gear Solid Four. This concludes the big boss stuff. Oh, look! You can collect plants. You got alchemy in this game. Can you Fulton them back to base? Why not? On D horse. You know what? You can also fault in the horse. I know you can do this. Yeah, you can. And look for an area the only thing I haven't out. seen him fault in is himself. If you can't fault in yourself, you this you game uh, is a I think you actually can. I think they they talked about in a be video careful, a while Chris back. Davis might be making stuff up right now. No, Who's no. your favorite Mighty Duck? Wait, uh, there was a there was a video a while back where you could fault in a shipping container, and uh, if you stayed on top of it, it would fault in you back as well, and complete the mission or end it. Oh, look how fast that horse runs. <laughs> He's smoking a cigar. What was the, uh, what was the Mighty Duck from Austin? Dwayne something? Dwayne Roberts? Who's the Mighty Duck from Daredevil? Oh, that was, uh, that was Fulton Reed. Fulton! <laughs> what the fuck? You oh, man. son of a bitch. That all came full circle real fast for me there. What the fuck? I don't know my Mighty Ducks well enough, apparently. I don't know <laughs> it. You guys don't Why would you fault the Reed? You barely know him. Analysis <laughs> complete. <laughs> All right, so you're scouting it out. This is the first stealthy thing he's done so far. <laughs> it just this game seems very Far Cry. You know. And don't get me wrong. I don't. People are probably gonna be be like, "Oh my God, Nick's so negative." But like, I love Far Cry. And, you know, I'll, I'll take a little Far Cry in my Metal Gear. That's if fine. you could have faulted in Far Cry Four, would you have? See if we can find a better location to take our shot. Fulton a couple it. times? Fulton and Eagle. Wait, like, it's not like he would have, like, booted I mean, up the game and been like, I'm going to completely ignore this mechanic. You did done skin, it. like, every single animal that you ever found in that game. No, I didn't. I, I, only, I only did that when I needed to. Oh. Oh. 
conservationist. Mm. No, even, I only even, did it when I needed to. <laughs> even Metal Gear Solid outdoors. 3, which was primarily well, outdoors as well, had a lot of you know, indoor yeah. environments. Yeah. It, it's because, the reason I say that is because I, I think when you're indoors, that's when it's like kind of the most Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid, you know? it's That's when you're like hiding in lockers and hiding yeah. behind. Yeah, but other, you know, that's other than 3 and maybe 4, um, most of the environments that they set the game in necessitated indoor gameplay. How does he blend in with a cardboard issue. box in the middle of the desert? Video game. Well, See, that is never a silly. good answer. It's silly. Because it's a Metal Gear. Oh, God. It's and Metal Gear is See, that's the, cool so thing. that's the coolest fucking thing in the... That I think the game has done so far. Oh, you see. Now, isn't side saddle the way like ladies in dresses sit on horses with their legs hanging over the side, and they're like, oh, 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 oh. that side saddle? Saddle? maybe. Yeah, I don't know. That, that is right. decidedly right. less cool than what you thought it was. Roughly on the opposite end of the outpost from our previous location. There's a guard tower here. I just, I, I mean, I'm cool. I know there's different ways that you can take out. Dude, let me see like a meeting. boss fight or this something. This is number three, right? So let's just yes. Wait here. I think the one this of the is problems remote problems assassination. One yeah. of the problems with Metal Gear Solid uh, oh, Peace Walker was that all the bosses were just like kind of tanks and and big, bigger tanks. Yeah. What is Flying happening right tanks. now? It's fast, oh, it's fast forwarding. You know, I want. I thought he was electrocuting them all. I was like, what is happening? Uh, I want crazy boss fights with crazy dudes. I want. I want some crazy up in here. Well, I'm pretty sure we're going to get some crazy. I know, but just so show, give us a taste. Save the crazy for later. I want to see some crazy. It's coming, baby. You'll get your crazy. Oh, you had your shot and you blew it. That's the target. You saw oh. half a hat, and you know exactly who it is. She just clipped him. Well, he's the only one wearing that hat. I think it's safe to say that, that, that this game will be the probably the most like unique thing we play this year, as far as you know, kind of unexpected. Uh, I mean, it's just there's nothing like a Metal Gear game, and Metal Gear games aren't like anything else, and that that's always exciting. Even 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 when when something is kind of fucked in a Metal Gear game, it's still fucked in an interesting way. You know what I mean? It's I I like well I, every other every other game out there is trying to feel like every other popular game. Metal Gear just wants to be its itself, and that's cool. That's always exciting. You know, you know, as great as Shadow of Mordor was, how much of Shadow of Mordor, you know, have we seen before? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Metal Gear's not like that. And that's mm -hmm. nice. Metal Gear does not disappoint. But we'll leave that to play when it comes to... It might. When it comes to, like, crazy what the fuck are you talking about kind of moments in story. Well, Quiet's already zipping around with her magic doodah, so... What in the... You heard that sound effect, right? That was the fucking... That's a fucking bionic, bionic woman sound effect. Yeah. Which makes it perfect, because it's a bionic arm. What just... Did you just spoil He's just, again? No. I think what? they also use that sound effect for... What did he just do? Six million dollars, He's the, the sonar slam. It, it it tracks enemies and objects in the environment. Like animals. They demonstrated this, like, last year. Uh, yeah, yeah, but show it's you one called the feature. sonar slam? Well, sonar detector, hey. whatever. Pick your battles, bro. I'm picking I love that I'm sound effect. I'm picking all of them. <laughs> like, come on. I'm sorry. I just hate Konami. God, fucking Fulton. I'm sorry. There it goes. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! Okay, I, I think me, me and Nick. Hey, come on, it's, it's still kind of cool. Subject on board. See, I told you. I knew it. What is it? Oh, that's it's his, his arm. Fist. Oh my God, he's got a, a rocket launch. <laughs> All right, this is cool. Holy fuck! Oh my that God. is probably the most. That is, that is cool, but that is probably the most. That's the weirdest punch. addition to a Metal Gear game I have ever seen in my life. You wanted some weird, you got some weird. Yeah. I, I wanted weird. No, the, the thing is, I, I think I want this game to be crazier. Oh. How did he not hear that? Rocket punch. How did the other guy not see And he see got his it? arm back. What happened? I feel like me and Nick... He's got spares. He just carries extra ...are very arms. differing yeah. here. I think Nick wants He's got this six to not be so actually. crazy, and I want it to be more crazy. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that was pretty crazy right there. No, that was crazy. 
So you just but let me do that in a crazy boss fight. I'm know. pretty certain you're gonna be able to do what? that in a boss fight. What was with all in a game that looks in a game that looks utterly beautiful and just about everything it does? That rocket arm looked kind of. What was with all the like with, with all the fuss? Why didn't he just launch the rocket arm to begin with? Thinking outside the box. All right, this is gonna be a cardboard box, box yes. thing. We all know this. Use a box. Quick, get in the box. It's amazing, like, how good this game has looked for so long. Mm -hmm. When, like, you, we at E3, we see all kinds of, like, questionable frame rate and shit. They can't even get good-looking stuff in trailers, barely. But this game for so long has looked so nice. It's that fox in me. Mm -hmm. So perfect. This time, we're starting in free roam mode with the horse <sighs> and a sneak. And 60 frames, you know? Crazy. <laughs> think that's funny, Crispy? No, I, 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 it's funny in an understanding way, like, I, I feel you. Why does he just rocket punch everyone? Yeah, right? Right? Because he has to Fulton's, Fulton's and rocket punches! <laughs> I see no issue with that. I, I want to see him Fulton his arm away. I come to Metal Gear for sandbox gameplay. You're telling me... Lots of crazy options. You're telling me he can, and this he can detach and fire his hand... Yeah. And control it with a remote, but they can't. Doesn't sound crazy. Surgically remove a metal shard from his head. It's in his it's it's right in the brain. It was a pretty big piece. Of <laughs> you, you do know, like, have you read stories of like, dude, his knife in his head, and they just why don't they just have head? nanobots do it for them? I'm yeah. sorry, with nano no, machine. No, it's a hole Nick, they dug for themselves. Nick. They've explained everything unimaginable under the sun way with. But this is a prequel before everything was nano machines. N N Nick yeah. is correct. Then quiet yeah. makes no sense no, at no, all. No, 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 but don't no, no, explain no. that. Nick, Nick is correct in Before that this is Metal Gear and they literally, like, if they had to write themselves out of him having a giant piece of metal in his head, they could. Because they could just say whatever fucking the bullshit they, they want to. But being a Metal Gear game uh, by that same crazy to token, they also don't ball. have to. Oh, <laughs> shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Slide uh, downhill with a uh, box. Uh, that's that's amazing. It's like a transformer box. <laughs> what? Box sled. Alright, that's pretty cool. Listen. Listen, I, I don't want them to explain it because Metal Gear is cool and weird and mysterious when they they don't explain shit. Yeah, then and when they, they do start explaining it, they explain it for half an hour over and over and over and again. It's but usually, it's fun, but usually yeah. Solid Snake's the one delivering that monologue and he's not going to well, talk very much, so no. who knows if that's actually going to happen. Well, that, that's he, Solid he, Snake. This is Big Boss. He usually has get, people explaining well, stuff at they'll, him. Yeah, they'll get like Remember Drebin? Jesus Christ, that dude never shut up. Drebin. Carefully approach from behind with some C4. <laughs> yes! This is the best part of Metal Gear Solid 1. Yes! Okay, alright, this is cool. Blow him up! <laughs> wait, he's gonna, he's gonna wait till they're all back in the Jeep. This is what he's gonna do. He's gonna fast forward. That would be the See, th guy, this was actually a VR where did mission. Where the box come from? Let's hide in the box. Just wait, just wait for it. This was a VR mission and it was. Yep, there it, took it is, fast forward. forward it out, but it they're was both awesome. gonna get in the Jeep. And then it's gonna explode, and I'm but gonna be happy. Can you remotely happy. control that jeep, and then winch something for the eighteen thousandth time? You should fold in the jeep with all three of the soldiers you're in it. You're such a fucking bitch, bro. Right. <laughs> Wait, why is he? I don't, did I don't it automatically just fold in the fucking? Yeah, yeah. That's how he gets rid of the box. Oh, it's not, he's gonna let it. He's drive. gonna let it go all the way back to base. God, how did he run and keep up with yeah. that yeah. guy? See, this is pretty cool. So that guy's sitting on a bomb that wasn't there before, and he hasn't noticed that. He doesn't. He's like, why is my seat so uncomfortable? Oh well. And where's that beeping sound coming from? Yeah. I don't get it. Why is your ass emitting a red light? <laughs> we're not even gonna see That's some explosion. severe ass cancer. There's a crack in the wall. Which we're not gonna see the explosion. I'm sure, we're gonna see the explosion. Calm down. I want to oh, see the explosion. Is... Calm down. Calm you know what I love about video games? Blowing shit up. That'll never get old. What are you doing, Snake? What the fuck was that? Huh? Oh. Oh. All right. So he heard a noise. He'll go to check that out. While he's busy. Yeah. How much did you fuck around in Ground Zero? I spent a lot of time fucking around. Check that out. I completed all the missions. Fucking and around I, is the I best part of Metal Gear. Yeah, oh my god, look at this. <laughs> that's, that's gorgeous. That seems oh, hard. Yeah. So we'll People do that. Building to get a better view of our target. It's just. I get like anxiety when I don't have a Soliton radar, though. It makes me nervous. Like, no matter what. Is there not one in this game at all? Well, I mean, no. This I don't is, this think is before so. I mean, it was invented. 
I mean, MGS3 barely had one in it, and there wasn't one in four, so. It's not that I remember. I miss it. I like that info. You idiot, you've had a bomb on your, on your ass. pants. I can see like, it from a distance. And they have good stats, hour. too. You're so stupid. So now all we have to do is equip the C4 and pull the trigger. Yes. Nothing personal. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> right, you blew them up. This should just be a hitman game. We'll have this guy on here. Checking out the noise. Let's get rid of him. They make our way back to the open world. That guy probably feels real stupid right about now. Of course, came out of nowhere. All right, like the Dude, that was the coolest one. That was pretty cool. Honestly, I think this game is always better when you're doing stealth. Oh yeah. Just we're gonna do stealth. I mean, it's that's a more exciting challenge. Game. Sure. I'm just saying that those last two approaches right, were far more interesting, in my opinion, than the, than the first two. Other examples of how you can approach our E3 mission. But I it's cool. I think the coolest was I, I like that they demonstrated it. Just a small bike sampling of the limitless from, from E3. You have at your disposal for each and every. Ah, see, I still haven't seen that one. I mean, it's 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 okay. I'm not too thrilled about it. What? The 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 D mech or whatever it's going to be called. You like that thing? You think it's cool? D walker? I mean, it's kind of cool. It's that like, thing? It's literally like a you can ride around on it. I'm using it. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's the He's using it now. What are you talking about? In the top video there. Wait, 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 who the fuck are you that they're like, oh yeah, we have a giant robot you can pilot, and you're just like, no, I think I'll pass. You're gonna have to stop. Yeah, this. that that's <laughs> it. So guys, uh, that's it. So. Hope yeah, you enjoyed this. It. We'll try more of them later, so goodbye. If you didn't like what I said, go ahead and give us a thumbs down. I'm oh, just kidding. Oh, thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs>